Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We want to talk about our new Total Overkill system. One thing I'll remind you of is always check the specs in the printed word on the product page because sometimes we'll update the specs on these systems and I won't want to reshoot the entire video. So do make sure to check the printed word for the actual specs of the system because they could vary slightly from this video. So the new uh, Total Overkill system, um, first of all, is based on the 8086K processor. It's a sort of a tribute processor that uh, Intel just came out with. And when I say just came out with, we're in early June right now. And this processor is a 40th anniversary of the original 8086 processor that came out, well, 40 years ago. This 8086 processor, um, is a K variant, meaning it's an unlocked uh, multiplier. And so we're able to run this actually at 5 gigahertz now. We've managed to be able to break into that 5 gigahertz space. Technically, I think they could do 5.1, but we want to keep it somewhat conservative, and so we're clocking it at 5 gigahertz. And it is a 6-core uh, processor with hyper-threading, so it would have 12 threads, again, 6 cores, uh, and that is really the biggest change, um, you know, on this total overkill besides all of the case itself. And so let's talk about the, the case that we're using. This is a Cooler Master case. Obviously, it has RGB lighting in it. And one thing I'll tell you right off the bat is you can turn off this RGB lighting if you want. It tends to be a feature that comes with high-end hardware these days. You almost can't avoid it. You buy a high-end case, motherboard, water cooler, just about anything, it's going to have RGB lighting in it. But virtually all of them can be disabled. Um, I'm sure there's some hardware out there where it's not, but everything in here you can disable the RGB lighting if you want. Right now you can see it's cycling through the colors once every couple of seconds. There's a bunch of different things you can do. You can make it one solid color. You can make it um, flash or pulse and all kind of different things. And that's controlled through software. And of course, as I said, you can turn it off if you want to. Now, right up here in front, you'll see we have two large 200-millimeter uh, fans. These 200-millimeter uh, fans obviously move a lot of air. The standard fan size in uh, a computer case, sort of thought as the standard, is 120 millimeters. So these are almost double the uh, diameter of the standard computer case uh, fan. Uh, the principle is you have a bigger fan, it doesn't have to spin as fast, and then it doesn't make as much noise, and it moves more air at the same time. And that's what we have here. We have a near, near silent design, uh, but it is moving a fair amount of air. Now this front panel obviously is sort of transparent. It is easily removed by simply pulling forward. It's held on with magnets and lifting it away if for some reason you needed to gain access to the front. There's not really a a major reason to, to go into the front here. There is some filtration here on the sides and in the bottom that you might want to periodically clean out, but it's not something you're going to be doing often, but it's extremely easy to remove and to reinstall. Now also on the front we have a, a large power button here. We have two USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s. We have a headphone and a microphone jack and we have a hard drive activity light and a reset button. All kind of standard stuff other than the fact there are four USBs up here, two of the USB 3 variety, and so that is probably a little more than what we're used to seeing on a typical computer. So that's the front, and next we'll take a look at the side and see what's in there. Okay, so here we are looking at the side of the case, and one thing you'll notice right away is there's a tempered glass uh, side panel, and that again is sort of the new trend in these high-end cases is to have a tempered glass side panel, and it's sort of uh, tinted, kind of a, a little bit of a tint, so you don't see everything crystal clear in there. But it does allow you to see the RGB lighting. Again, all this can be disabled if you so choose through software. Um, just to go over some of the specs, I mentioned earlier we have the 8086 processor running at 5 gigahertz. We obviously have a water cooler in here, and uh, we'll talk more about the water cooler in just a little bit. And I'm going to use a coin here and use it to turn this little knob, quarter turn, and remove the tempered glass side. It's pretty easy to do. 
We have a, a GTX uh, 1080 Ti 11 gig. Again, <clears throat> when new cards come out, whenever that is, we'll adopt those, but that is the fastest card at the time of this video. We have this nice shroud here which covers up any cabling as well as the power supply. And in here we have a gold rated 1000 watt power supply. Um, the total system draw on this under full load is somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, maybe 500 watts. So a thousand is more than enough to uh, to cover everything. We have the, again, the water cooler. It's got the RGB lighting. We have some RGB lit um, DDR4 here. It's DDR4 3200 megahertz, which is very fast. Um, 32 gigs of it. Uh, and um, it can also be varied. Right now it's just cycling through colors, but you can make it flash or make it one solid color or whatever you might want. We also have a very fast uh, SSD. It's an NVMe SSD and it can read at over 3,000 megabytes per second which is extremely fast. And write speeds are over I believe 2,000 megabytes per second. The specs will be listed on the website. Um, behind here also we have a 6 terabyte conventional hard drive. So this is a spinning hard drive and it's meant for large amounts of storage. So if you needed to store pictures, movies, videos, music, uh, scenery, you know, whatever you might want to store, then you can store that over on that six terabyte hard drive. And of course we have a really nice motherboard with built-in Wi-Fi and uh, multiple PCI Express slots available and open and it can control all of this RGB lighting. Uh, it's all connected to the motherboard, which can then be controlled through software. So now that's the, that's the side. Let's take a look at the, let's say the back next. So we're in the back now. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time here because it's kind of standard stuff um, for the most part. We have our two Wi-Fi antenna connections. We have multiple USB 3, USB 3.1, USB, um, two is actually in the front. We have a, I don't think I said this, USB Type-C. We have multiple audio outs. We have a gigabit ethernet port. And then of course we have the graphics card. We can support up to four GP, excuse me, four uh, monitors with this graphics card. Um, the typical layout is, and this is what this card, how it's laid out, is three display ports and one HDMI. And of course those display ports can be converted to HDMI and with the correct cable can actually display 4K go at 60 hertz going from DisplayPort to HDMI. And of course we have our 1000 watt power supply down here. We also have a fairly large fan here in the back. I think that's a 160 millimeter fan, so it kind of falls in between that 200 and that 120 I mentioned earlier. So a pretty large fan back here for ventilation as well. And that's it for the back. Okay, I have the system off now, but this is the top. So back here is the back, and then this is the top of the case, and I've just kind of, you know, leaned it forward so you can see it. This one is also held on with magnets. So you just kind of lift up um, from the back, and it comes right off. And what you see here are 320 millimeter fans. And what's right under here, which you can't very, very well see, is a... Uh, radiator, a 360 millimeter long uh, water cooler radiator for the processor. And of course the more water you have in your radiator, the longer it takes for that water to heat up and the longer it takes for these fans to start spinning up faster and faster because as the water heats up these have to spin a little bit faster. So it's good to have as large of a radiator as possible. Um, so that pretty much covers the top. That gets, um, you know, this is pretty much all just water cooler here in the top. And then we just slide this panel right back on very easily with the magnets I talked about earlier. And there, it's on. Okay, so we're back here at the front of the Total Overkill system. So just to kind of review a little bit, this, this system is sort of, uh, well, overkill. It's more than you would really need. Um, probably our best deal is to go with our uh, platinum system with um, you know some upgrades on that but if you really want everything um, you want to and you want some excess as well and that's what the overkill system is all about 
Just to reiterate, we have a 5 gigahertz processor in here, at least we're running it at 5 gigahertz. It's the 8086K, which is a limited edition run. They're only going to make so many of them, and then when they're gone, they're gone. Luckily, we've bought up a fair number of them. We have a, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, which reads at over 3,000 megabytes per second and writes at over 2,000 megabytes per second. We have a six terabyte uh, conventional mechanical hard drive in here for just mass storage. Just put whatever you want on it. It's a nice fast drive. We also have a GTX 1080 Ti 11 gig, which is at the time of this video the very fastest video card that you can get, the most powerful one for gaming. Uh, what am I leaving out here? We have a wireless AC built in. Um, that's the latest wireless technology. We have RGB lighting, whether you like it or not, you can turn it off if you so choose. Um, we have a triple fan water cooler. It's the first time we've ever used a water cooler that large before. Um, and it's right in the top. You don't even really, you know, kind of notice it uh, unless you really want to go looking for it. And um, again, it's a triple fan, 360 millimeter water cooler. And I think that really hits most of the high. Well, we have a 1,000 watt gold rated power supply, which is again overkill. That's why we call this the overkill system. You know, you're never going to draw more than about 400 and something, maybe 500 watts out of this system. So uh, it'll be more than enough uh, with, with some leftover to drive this system. So hopefully, you like the new total overkill system. If you have any questions, just give us a call or email us at xforcesales at gmail.com.